Time now for Tech Talk, brought to you by Reality Bites Downtown. Drum Heller joining us this week, John Schaff. John, it's been a while. I haven't seen you in a heck of a long time. Yeah, I've been out of the province for a little bit. Well, two weeks ago you were in Camrose, and then last week you were in Montreal. Yep. Wow. At, at Millennium Micro Conference. Oh, so okay. Learning, learning and brushing up on all the new IT things. In An the world. educational trip. <laughs> we are talking about Botnet. N not related to Botflies. YouTube that, because I know you haven't seen that. Yep, you yep. will be disgusted. Yep. But Botnet is also quite disgusting. Yeah, so a Botnet is a collection of devices that have been hacked or compromised, and then they're all um, basically communicating with each other for hackers to basically do attacks, so like a d distributed denial of service attack. Now, a denial of service attack, like on big companies like Telus, for example, or how does that yes, work? Yes, or like a big corporation or an internet provider. So what they will do is, um, you know, this Myria, which is one of the biggest botnets that are, is active right now, has a million active devices. So these things could be, um, a lot of them are IP connected cameras. Because uh, there's a flaw in these IP cams that uh, there's hundreds of thousands of them infected. Like, like the cameras on like your laptop, for example? Uh, no, like a standalone IP security camera. Oh, so okay. like a camera on the wall or on a roof ceiling. Okay. And so the camera still functions, but it it uh, is compromised. So now it's functioning as a camera, but also being used by these hackers to do denial of service attacks. And there's other things like connect uh, IP connected fridges and appliances, routers, thousands of different types of devices that all run this one particular type of Linux that has a compromised uh, vulnerability in it. But what, what happens is they take this collection of a million devices that are all over the world and then they go to a company or a, a provider and they, they ask for a ransom. And so they ask for a, you know an undisclosed amount of money. If you don't pay the ransom, then they hit you with this denial of service attack and it's it's essentially cyber warfare they they just they hit you uh with with a million devices trying to ping your network all at the same time and just takes the network down to a complete standstill just mm -hmm. ends your your connectivity well, i'm still kind of confused with the dial of service attack so if i'm a business owner and i have security cameras in my business and i don't know that my cameras have been compromised so how would I find out? Like if, if someone breaks into my business and I have to go back to those videos, I would be denied those videos? No, no. The no? cameras still function as a camera. Okay. So that's the interesting or creative part of this. Those devices still work. They just happen to be now also being used by the hackers to, to distribute these attacks. Mm -hmm. So they're still functioning in their main purpose. And that's why it's really tough. A lot of people have no idea that their devices are infected. And yet these hackers have full control. Like they can look through the camera and, and use yeah. it, view it remotely, uh, but they can also use it for attacks. And uh, uh, it's, it's, I mean, it's really all about revenue. These guys are doing this to make money and it's, it's, it's completely out of control. The, the, the Myria botnet uh, just hit a, it was a big news story because they just attacked uh, Krebs, which is a big security firm. And they hit them with a one terabit per second attack, which mm -hmm. is, uh, you know, a, a million bits per second, like an unprecedented amount of, of traffic. It just took them completely to a standstill. And they can basically just do this forever until you pay the ransom. And how would a person know that they, their security camera has been compromised? And once they do find out, then what happens? What do you do? Well, um, there is tools. So there's software-based tools that can scan your network. Uh, see what devices are on your network and then see if they are compromised and in most cases in order to Restore them you have to completely Wipe the software that's embedded on the camera, which is called a firmware um, So you have to upload a new firmware to wipe out what what's there now uh, To completely clean those things uh, so it's quite an intensive thing to to fix if your if your system gets compromised and What's interesting is once one camera on your network gets infected, it'll infect all the other mm -hmm. cameras that are attached. Like it'll try and reach out to other devices. And again, it's not just cameras. That's just one example. Like, yeah. Um, a lot of routers have the same vulnerability. A lot of um, any anything that they call an Internet of Things, an IoT device. So something that's not a computer, but it's connected to the Internet using an IP address. It's kind of um, cyber warfare in a way. 
It is. It yeah. is absolutely cyber warfare, warfare. You know, we've we've talked about it in theory, but it's happening today. <laughs> you know, mm-hmm. it's it's happening right now. People getting uh, held, literally held ransom. There's there's even discussion of, um, you know, cars that are that are IP connected now, uh, that they are on the verge of having these vulnerabilities where uh, uh, they can essentially lock down your vehicle and hold your car ransom until you you pay a ransom the, the the software in the car is 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 compromised essentially so computers and technology it's a wonderful thing but it can be a very scary thing sometimes yep. can't it and security is so 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 important i can't possibly stress that enough and i guess this is why blackberry is probably moving off into the security side of things you know because there is a big market in there that you know, could be very lucrative for them, and they need that. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. (laughs) All right, well, thanks for swinging by, John. Yeah, thank you. John Schaff of Reality Bites, downtown Drumheller.